Research that is easy to find, understand and take part in is accessible. Accessible research is a critical but sometimes overlooked aspect that can impact the diversity of recruited participants. Joining research studies can be a big deal for people, so as researchers we should try to make it as easy as possible for them by reducing the physical and mental work that people need to do to take part. For instance, we could think about whether the data we need is already collected and available elsewhere. Or if we can be more flexible with the timing of activities so people can work around other commitments, it's easy to forget how our decisions affect the people taking part. A good way to start is by putting ourselves in their shoes and asking, what would I need to join this study? What might make it difficult for me to take part? Talking to just one person, like a patient or someone from the public, can give your research a whole new perspective. And talking to a variety of people, different ages, backgrounds and ethnicities, can be even better. You can usually find guidance from research support services or the funder of your research on how to budget time and money for this. We also need to make sure that potential participants understand why our research matters and what it means to them. Sometimes the information we give out can be too complicated. Did you know that the average reading level in the UK is like that of a nine-year-old? So keeping things simple and clear is key. Some studies offer easy-to-read versions of information sheets, audio summaries or short videos to help. Specific to research involving humans, there are rules to what should be included in the information provided to people thinking about taking part in research. But could you be putting people off taking part because of the way you're framing your research? For example, discussion groups with Nigerians suggested invitations to cancer screening need to be reframed from a focus on the risk of death to another way of staying healthy. This is because many Nigerians believe that their fate is in the hands of God. So focusing the information on the avoidance of death is more likely to make this population disengage. When it comes to finding people to take part, we need to be creative. Think about where our target group go, what services they use and who influences them. This could be online as well as in person. Spreading the word about your research might mean reaching out through community events, radio ads or social media campaigns. An excellent example of access is from the Principal Study, which worked with pharmacies across the UK to make communities that would not commonly engage with other healthcare services or media aware of their research. The team provided pharmacies with material to advertise in seven different ways, including stickers, text messages, email templates and posters. They also developed information sheets in ten different languages. Speak to your colleagues and explore your organization's services to find out if they can help get you started in making your research more accessible.